One person dies every 19 minutes in the United States due to prescription drug overdose. Hydrocodone, a prescription known by brand names such as Norco, Lortab, and Visodin, was dispensed 1.2 million times to Medicare patients in Georgia in 2012. Hydrocodone is a class of narcotics considered opiates, which are habit-forming, dangerous, and subject to abuse. First, I want to shine light that some physicians are trying to stop the overprescribing of prescription drugs. Schedule 3 drugs are drugs that are low dependent and they don't have a potential to become addicted. The US, they include Tylenol, codeine, anabolic steroids. Schedule 2 substances are more dangerous, high potential for dependency. These drugs are classified as Schedule 2. They are known as cocaine, methamphetamine, oxycodone, Adderall, and Ritalin. The federal government has already changed hydrocodone from a Schedule 3 drug to a Schedule 2. Now that it's a Schedule 2 drug, patients that are prescribed this medication must take a handwritten prescription to the pharmacist to get filled. No longer are they allowed to have one faxed over or orally. When it's time for a refill, the patient must revisit the doctor to get another prescription. On the other hand, it is easier for doctors to write prescriptions than to explore other options to help their patients with pain. CNN Chief Medical Correspondent Dr. Sanjay wrote in an editorial, It is easier for patients to take pain pills than help the doctor search for alternatives. Both these things must absolutely change. Thus, State Bill 125 in Georgia was introduced that would grant physicians' assistants the authority to prescribe hydrocodone compound products. A physician must delegate this task to the physician assistants in a written job description. So they must have it in their job description. If this bill was passed, they will also be entitled to prescribe Schedule 3 and Schedule 4 controlled substances. The physician assistant may write the prescription as long as it does not exceed 300 milligrams. If the patient is under 18, the prescription cannot exceed 100 milligrams. In an effort to put a tighter grip on how these drugs are dispensed, I feel the physician should be the only one allowed to prescribe the medicine. Consequently, in recent years, hydrocodone has become a street drug, meaning that the person the medicine is prescribe for sells it on the streets. These pills are being used in a non-medical way many times to get high or cause euphoria. People on the street inject these, snort hydrocodone, which is leading to a number of overdose deaths. If more, phys if more physicians or assistants are allowed to prescribe these drugs, that means more will be on the street. I would like for that to stop. However, I know that physician that prescribing medicine is in the scope of practice for physicians assistant. However, some physicians assistants are not able to recognize chemical dependency and substance abuse. I am not saying some patients do not use this medicine to help control their pain, but we are having a lot of overdose or death, and I feel only allowing the doctor to write these prescriptions can cut down on it. Leaving these tasks for physicians only will help to determine a balance needed to ensure continued access to the patients who rely on continuous pain relief. It's an ongoing effort that we, that we, will, that we must take in America to help the overdose of narcotics. Consequently, I would like to end my speech here that with all the deaths, I feel that lawmakers should veto this bill and not allow the physician's assistant to prescribe it. Taking the extra precautions by allowing only physician's assistant to prescribe 
not allowing physicians assistance to prescribe this medicine will cut down on the deaths due to drug overdose. Thank you.